Look at my handsome boy and his pink mohawk. Isn't he handsome? He matches mommy now. It's a little faded, <laughs> but yeah, Rebel's got a cute little pink mohawk. <laughs> yeah, you guys haven't seen him for a while, so I figured I'd show him to you, especially since we're twins. Hey dolls! So before I get into this video, I got to tell you where all my stuff is from and what I'm wearing. But before I do that, um, ignore my roots. I'm waiting to do them till right before my Disneyland trip. Anyway, with that being said, my shirt is from Creamy Pop. My earrings are from Hot Topic. Uh, on my eyes, I am wearing the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves palette. And my lips is the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Rosebud that you guys know I wear all the time. And then, of course, I have my little Apple Watch right here. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and do, and do a long overdue what's in my purse or what's in my mini backpack, rather. I've been carrying a mini backpack for a while now because I like the freedom <laughs> with my hands and having a shoulder bag it often slips down and it's a pain in the butt to keep up on my shoulder and I have found a love for mini backpacks lately. You guys know I usually carry big bags. I have always loved carrying a big like tote bag or just a larger sized handbag and with these mini backpacks I have downsized quite a bit and I don't carry as much stuff as I used to and if I do it's very much condensed. Okay so this is my bag and because it is blue my camera does not like recording the color blue so if the lighting goes weird and the camera goes like orange and I start looking orange it's because I'm showing this blue bag and my camera doesn't like when I show the color blue for whatever reason it's so used to seeing pink all the time that when I introduce blue it's like what are you doing to me and then it doesn't know how to function properly <laughs> so yes this is my bag it is Duffy and Stella Lou and unfortunately this is not a Disney copyright product. I got this off of AliExpress. I love it so much. See how my camera's going all weird? But as you can see, it has some pink straps. It has a front compartment right here and a back compartment. The back compartment does not have any internal pockets or anything like that. And then it just has a little gold plaque right here that says Stella Lou in the front. And as you can see, the pattern says Stella Lou everywhere as well with some cute little stars and ballet slippers and everything. Uh, they do also have many different characters in this same exact bag style. If I can find the direct link where I got this one, I will link it down below. First off, I gotta show you guys my keychains. This puff ball right here, I think I got at Michael's. I don't remember, but you can get them all over the place. And then my little unicorn hand sanitizer right here, my sister got me. You guys might recognize it from my birthday haul this last December. And if you push its head, its horn lights up. And in it, I think I have like, you are magical, cotton candy clouds. Uh, it's just the Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer that is in there right now but those are the two little keychains that I just have on the outside of my bag so first and foremost I'll open the small pocket first and show you guys everything in there it's mainly just like makeup stuff and I just carry makeup with me for to be able to do touch-ups I don't carry like my daily makeup with me every single time every time I go out somewhere because that would just be too much to carry because you know me I like to wear full glam like every day all the time when I do my makeup so I just have like touch-up stuff in here I have a Conair mirror and this one has like a magnified side and a regular side. I know this is completely and totally not my aesthetic but a uh, funny story when I was in Vegas <laughs> last year with my fiance in March about a year ago exactly uh, we were in an uber and I had a Marie uh, compact mirror and I accidentally left it in the uber. <laughs> So I had to make an emergency trip to a local like Walgreens right there on the strip and I this was the only mirror I could find that I liked and that had the uh, like magnified side. Um, not one of my best souvenirs but it's from there so yay! <laughs> it's nice to just open my purse and have a laugh once in a while. Okay, then in here I have my baby lips. This is just the clear one. I just use this as my chapstick. 
easy peasy. I have the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Rosebud that I'm wearing right now that I love so, so much. I've repurchased this thing like 10 times. I talk about it all the time. You guys are probably sick and tired of me talking about this, but I love it so much and I'm not going to stop anytime soon. It is so good. I love it. Then we have my eyeliner in here. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil. I got my black tone or dark tone duo lash glue. Got some tweezers, a bobby pin to touch up my lashes with the lash glue, and a dinky little nail file. These just come in the like press on nail kits that you can get at like Walmart and stuff. And I just keep these little ones in my purse. They're just like little mini emery boards because it takes up way less space. It's really tiny, not a problem. And then I can just file my nails if I have to, if one breaks or anything like that. So I like to carry a little tiny one of these around rather than a big gargantuan thing that takes up a ton of space. Okay, that is everything in this front pocket. Now let's go ahead and move on to the main compartment. The thing that takes up the most space is always my wallet. This one right here is the Disney Lounge Fly Marie wallet. They have several ones and I have several of them. I think I have like six different Marie wallets. These are my favorite kind, the ones that zip or the ones that open up that are these huge ones like this. I have so many cards and just being able to carry everything in one spot is very convenient, especially for me. I like to switch out my bags frequently to match my outfits. So having a big wallet like this that I can just carry everything in and then just transfer between bags is super convenient. So again, this is the Marie Loungefly Disney wallet. Then I have some sunglasses in here and actually I was able to find these in the Valentine's section at Walmart for $2. <laughs> I don't know if they still have them, but I had to pick these up. I have some other ones that are really similar that you guys are used to seeing. These are the ones I get, I got off of eBay. However, these ones have more of a rainbow tint on the lenses, whereas these ones are just black. Um, I got these off of eBay and they were like $9 or something like that, maybe 11. I don't know. I just love the heart-shaped sunglasses, so I couldn't turn these down because they were only two dollars next up i have my keys and this lanyard oh my gosh you guys i'm gonna go ahead and detach this just so i can show you guys the lanyard without the keys clanking around everywhere but this lanyard is from the disney parks i actually had someone pick this up for me and send it to me and uh, it's amazing. I love this. As soon as I saw it, I had to have it. It's actually reversible. So on one side, it has the Disney cats. So there's the Aristocats and so many other kitties. There's Figaro on there. Uh, Lucifer is on here. So many different little kitties. And then if you flip it around, ta-da! Here's all the Disney dogs. Not all of them, obviously. Uh, but there's bolt oh my gosh i have ink on it no there's ink on it right here hmm. dodger nana lady in the tramp copper uh perdita and pongo this just got all the cute little doggies on here and i love this so much i had to have it um i've seen people selling them on poshmark and depop so be sure to check that out if you want to get your hands on one of these and don't n live near a disney park or have immediate access to them people are also selling them on ebay but anyway it even says on it, uh, Disney Parks, Authentic Original Disney. And then I have my keys on here. I have my house key that has a little Marie, um, little key, key holder thing on here. And yes, my house key is pink. It actually says princess on it. <laughs> Just looks like that. I have, oh my gosh, go back in there. I have my storage keys those are for my storage unit and then i have my key for work and then i have all these little tiny card things that are just little keychain cards it's for like walgreens and rite aid and ace and petco and then i have another hand sanitizer from bath and body works and this one is pumpkin cupcake my favorite bath and body works scent of all time and it's just on this pink little carrier and those are my keys. Then we have some tissues, a hair scrunchie that is originally from Hot Topic, some gum. Fun fact, this is my favorite gum flavor. This is the Extra Polar Ice. And of course, I gotta get the big honkin' one. And another fun fact, something you did not know about me 
is I never chew a full stick of gum when I go to chew a piece of gum. I always rip them in half and only eat half of the stick at a time or only chew half of the stick at a time. So a big old thing of this lasts me double the time as the average person. One full stick of gum is just too much for me. So being able to get double the pleasure, double the fun. You guys remember that Chris Brown double mint commercial? I get double pleasure, double the fun out of this extra gum because I only use half a stick at a time. <laughs> the more you know. Then I have a Bath and Body Works Shea Butter Hand Cream and this is the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. I have this on one of the little keychain carriers. Sometimes, depending on what bag I'm carrying, I will carry this on the outside of my bag. Uh, sometimes if it doesn't really match or if I'm hogging the zipper with other keychains, I will just throw this in the bag itself. My hands get very dry, especially when I am working because I wash dishes a lot. So I love to be able to have some lotion. And again, this is one of the amazing scents. I love this false scents at Bath & Body Works so much. Then I have my little pill container in here. This is just a Marie one. She is a little worn out. I found this a few years ago on eBay, but yeah, it's just like a little basic pill container. So there is that. Then I have my headphones that again have like a little Marie uh, cable holder cable securer, cable grabber, whatever you want to call this thing. It is Marie and you can get these off of eBay and AliExpress as well. They just like button together. And then I have my headphones. Then I've got a Cinderella pin. I like to carry a pin in my bag all the time. So this is just my princess Cinderella pin. And then you guys might remember this from one of my box openings. These are the Hello Kitty scissors that I have fallen in love with so much and I am so happy to carry these in my bag. That's just such a nifty, cool invention and I'm so happy to have this now. Okay, and two more things in my bag and then, oh wait, hold on there. I lied, you guys. I lied. I was thinking of a different bag, but there is a pocket inside of here. What is in here? What what is what is in this mysterious pouch that I completely forgot existed? Oh, loose pocket change. Anyway, the last two items that I have in my purse are one of these cool little purse holders. Basically, how these work, if you guys don't know what they are, if you're not familiar with them, they undo like so. So it's like a little hook, and this part sits on the edge of a table, and your purse hooks to the hook. So when you are out and about, you can put your purse on the edge of the table and hang it down rather than sitting it on the dirty, nasty, grubby, questionable floor. Anyway, it is magnetic. I got the pink one. They have tons of different colors. There you go. And then the last thing in here is just some dental floss. Now, I gotta talk to you guys about this because I don't wanna make a whole video about this because it's not worth a whole video because it's just dental floss. But this was advertised on my Instagram and you guys know that I kind of wanted to start up a series called Instagram Made Me Buy It where I use my own money. It's not sponsored, they don't send me free product and I literally just review the stuff that is advertised on my Instagram. And this is one of the things that I bought on Instagram because of an Instagram ad and this is Coco Floss. I'm sure you guys have probably seen it, heard about it. If not, this is Coco Floss. It's supposed to be amazing. It's supposed to work really well. It's supposed to smell and taste just like pure strawberries is the scent that I got. Now, just be warned, it is just a scent. It does not taste at all like it says it smells like. It smells delicious. They claim that it doesn't fray apart and it's very durable. Um, no, that is not the case at all. They also claim that it doesn't get stuck in between your teeth. Again, not the case at all. This stuff is basically just your average floss. <laughs> and yeah, I got suckered into buying it and it's really not worth the hype. So just so you know, 
it ain't it ain't worth the cost and it ain't worth it but I have like six of these now that I have to go through so I just put one in my purse and I'm gonna go through them as I need them and that is everything that again is in my Duffy and Shelly Mae mini backpack I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what are some of your guys's things that you have to take with you wherever you go and I will talk to you all in my next one so until then so long stay strong Stay true and be you. All right. Bye.